Before we dive into the announcement, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-meter ring of superconducting magnets and the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It represents the pinnacle of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can recreate the very conditions of the universe's birth. But could this machine, designed to unlock the secret of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations with 23 member states and thousands of scientists. It serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's just one part of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a racetrack not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles in a race against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The collisions create temperatures a million times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four locations around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as colossal cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that offer clues to the universe's fundamental building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. But with every answer comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new challenge. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unlock forces we cannot control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human understanding are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a voice of authority in the world of particle physics, has recently made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also went on to explain the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and explore dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anat Borsky experienced a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pu, Russia, a malfunction led to his head accidentally coming into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Borsky's experience was otherworldly. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning through tissue and bone. Yet, he remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, 
leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, astonishingly, Borsky's intellectual capabilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unforeseen reactions, the very fabric of space and time being manipulated, these are not the stuff of science fiction but real concerns voiced by some in the scientific community. One of the most alarming and captivating concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such an entity, even on a microscopic scale, is shocking to both the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Though scientists at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly, the mere possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It has to do with the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy weight is dropped onto it. The fabric bends and curves, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. That's a simplistic metaphor for what could happen in the LHC. In the world of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both bizarre and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. This enigmatic dance of particles has even caught the attention of some world-famous scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, a cosmic event that would not only destroy the Earth, but the entire universe itself. The esteemed British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed his concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future prospects for humanity, he explored the potential risks associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were not merely cautionary, they were tinged with a sense of existential dread. He spoke of a worst-case scenario where an ill-fated experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability could, in theory, trigger a phase transition that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time, resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rees's concerns were not limited to theoretical musings. He assigned a probability to these catastrophic outcomes, albeit a low one, but even a minuscule chance, he argued, should give us pause. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities, run the simulations, and examined the theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration, recognizing that there are widespread fears and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He emphasized that there are rigorous safety measures in place, extensive reviews and protocols that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost care. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally encounters, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, Scientists say it would be so tiny and so unstable that it would evaporate in a flash of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic wonder, a glimpse into the abyss, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. This notion, though largely dismissed by the scientific community, has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not understand? 
The idea of opening a portal to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, adding fuel to the fire of uncertainty. But how did this idea come to be, and what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, but they could theoretically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now, imagine the LHC as a cosmic key unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of time. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples or vibrations that probe these hidden dimensions. If those dimensions exist, the LHC could potentially expose them. But before we get carried away with wild speculation, it's important to understand that while the LHC is incredibly powerful, there is no conclusive evidence to suggest it will open a portal to another universe, let alone hell itself. However, the allure of the unknown, combined with the enigmatic nature of quantum physics, means that such ideas will continue to captivate the public imagination. So should we be concerned about the LHC and its potential dangers? It's easy to be swept away by sensational headlines and fears of cosmic calamity. But the truth is that the scientists at CERN are acutely aware of the risks involved. They have taken every precaution to ensure that their experiments are safe, and they continue to monitor and evaluate their work with the utmost rigor. The potential benefits of the research, the breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe, the discovery of new particles, the exploration of dark matter, are truly awe-inspiring. The LHC is not only a testament to human ingenuity, but a window into the very heart of the cosmos. However, like any great leap forward in science, it comes with its share of risks, and we must approach it with a mixture of wonder, respect, and caution. The Large Hadron Collider represents the cutting edge of scientific exploration, where theoretical physics meets experimental reality. Its potential to answer fundamental questions about the universe, such as the origins of mass and the nature of dark matter, is unparalleled. Yet, despite rigorous safety measures and detailed calculations, the LHC still invokes a sense of mystery and trepidation among some. The sheer scale of the machine and the energy it generates is awe-inspiring, and every new experiment opens the door to uncharted scientific territory. While most scientists remain confident in the safety of LHC experiments, there are undeniable uncertainties. What if new unforeseen phenomena emerge, challenging our understanding of physics and the universe's laws? The LHC pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and questions the limits of our control over the natural world. As particle collisions recreate conditions not seen since the Big Bang, the profound nature of these experiments raises existential questions about the potential consequences of tampering with the very fabric of the universe. Nevertheless, the LHC's achievements in particle physics have been transformative. It has led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, advanced our understanding of the standard model, and opened pathways to potential breakthroughs that could reshape our technological future. Despite the risks, the pursuit of knowledge remains one of humanity's most ambitious endeavors. The journey of scientific discovery is rarely without risk, and the LHC is no exception. Its operations delve into realms of physics where intuition no longer applies. For decades, physicists have sought to understand the fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force, each of which plays a pivotal role in the structure of matter. The LHC has been instrumental in providing clues that bring us closer to a unified theory of everything where all these forces might be reconciled under a single framework. As humanity continues to explore these frontiers, the nature of the experiments themselves has raised important ethical considerations. Could advancements in particle physics lead to unintended consequences for not only our planet, but the entire fabric of reality? These are not easy questions to answer, and they require careful thought about the broader implications of scientific progress. For example, the creation of exotic particles or the exploration of high-energy conditions could reveal unknown aspects of the universe, but they also carry the risk of triggering new phenomena that are difficult to predict. 
The pursuit of scientific knowledge in these uncharted areas can inspire both excitement and fear. As discoveries unfold, humanity must grapple with the responsibility of ensuring that progress is guided by wisdom, caution, and an understanding of the potential repercussions. Some argue that our understanding of quantum physics is still in its infancy, and the LHC's experiments, which operate in the realm of subatomic particles, may one day lead to unforeseen discoveries with far-reaching consequences. While the LHC's experiments are ultimately designed to shed light on some of the most profound questions in physics, they also force us to confront a crucial aspect of human nature, the desire to push the boundaries of the known often without fully grasping the potential consequences of that exploration. The hope is that the LHC's discoveries will lead to a better understanding of the universe, but there will always be an element of uncertainty as we venture deeper into the unknown. As the LHC continues its groundbreaking work, it also serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness between scientific discovery and societal responsibility. The experiments conducted at CERN could one day revolutionize fields beyond physics, such as energy production, material science, and medicine. By studying particles and their interactions, scientists may unlock new methods for harnessing energy or even discovering novel forms of matter that could transform technology as we know it. However, the potential for both extraordinary progress and unforeseen challenges is ever-present. The delicate balance between exploring the unknown and managing the inherent risks requires vigilance. As humanity looks to the future, it is crucial that we navigate this path thoughtfully, ensuring that we approach the wonders of the universe with humility and respect for the unknown consequences of our actions.